Hello and welcome to the Fearless JC channel. Today is going to be a great video. I'm going over six things that I got surprisingly better at from traveling. I got a lot better at from traveling on a budget in Europe is holding my pee for a very long time. Now this is gonna sound weird, I know, but um, when you're on a bus ride that's 12 hours long and you realize that the door to the bathroom is locked and the bus driver does not want to give you a key or that you're on a bus that doesn't have a working bathroom. So I managed to have some time. The bad news is I really have to pee. I think I can hold it for four hours. Then you just have to hold it. If you are in a line that's too long at the pit stop, your bus is going to leave without you. Also, not just on the buses, but say you're on a walking tour. It's a three hour long walking tour and you mistakenly uh, drank a whole bottle of water before you left because you didn't want to get thirsty. Well, you just got to hold it because if you jump into a place to go use the restroom, guess what, by the time you come back out, your tour is long gone. The second skill I got much better at, surprisingly, was math. Now, I'm an English major and math is definitely not one of my strong suits, but when you're traveling uh, in Eastern Europe and countries don't use the Euro or, of course, the US dollar, then uh, you start to realize really quickly how quick you can do math in your head. I got all these groceries for 18 lei, which is less than $5. When I was in Croatia, the Croatian kuna for every one US dollar is 6.25 Croatian kunas. So I really quickly had to learn all my six multiples. And it was different in every country I was visiting. I got a, a lot better at um, quick math. The third thing I got better at, hopefully, is film editing. Now, this is something that I had never done before I started vlogging. Honestly, the first time I practiced film editing was on the first video of this vlog. Uh, I would suggest you go watch it because it would be really funny because it's like horrible quality, but I'm also really embarrassed about it, so I'm not going to suggest you do that. <laughs> I'm going to coincide with that. I learned a lot of computer technology. And then I try to turn on my computer and it wouldn't turn on because the battery doesn't charge. When I had my hard drive fail, I started reading all kinds of forums about how to fix your hard drive yourself, which you can't really do, <laughs> about buying a solid state drive, graphic cards, uh, memory cards. I learned about all kinds of computer technology that I didn't know about before. The fourth thing I learned was Geography. Now, yes, we all learned geography in school, and I was I was confident that my European geography was accurate. Um, but it wasn't until I was in Croatia and somebody said that she's taking a ferry from Croatia to Italy that I was like, You're taking a ferry from Croatia to Italy. My European geography knowledge was abysmal. Um, but also, you spend so much time looking at maps, not just of the area you're in, but of what countries to go to when you're looking for flights. You're looking at the whole map of the continent to see which place is cheapest for you to fly to. And you just spend so much more time staring at the map of countries that uh, you start to learn a lot more about geography. So this is Spain, and that's Portugal. The fifth one, which is surprising, uh, and probably not everybody, will relate to me on this, but the fifth one is learning to make tacos in a bunch of different places. Now, let me be more specific on this, because I used to work in a Mexican restaurant, and tacos, you know, I love them. I'm addicted to them. Actually, like, I can't imagine my life without tacos. Everywhere you go has different ingredients available. For example, when I was in France, I could not find cilantro anywhere. 
And how it's like, how am I making tacos and pico de gallo and guacamole without cilantro? Then it worked out fine. I have it. So in order to eat the taco, yes. you hold it with your hand like this. Oh. And you throw it. I don't have to know it. Okay? And then once you insert it into your mouth, you should bite down. Promise you. <laughs> and um, I realized that you can make tacos with almost any ingredients. You don't even need meat. You can make them out of carrots and squash. You can. You don't even need the right spices. If you don't have cumin, you can still make it work. Different places you go, different countries are obviously going to have different ingredients available because especially the poorer countries, they don't do as much importing. So uh, you're kind of stuck with what you got. The sixth Thing that I got much better at surprising while traveling was talking to strangers. I I didn't actually realize this until I got back home and back to New Jersey and um, I went to a real estate meeting with my brother and there are a bunch of people there who do not have the same interest as me, who I have nothing in common with and I just went right up to them and I introduced myself and I said I'm JC, I'm a full-time traveler and just start a conversation without any insecurity at all. Hi. Hello, nice Sister, Sister Frazier. No. Yes. <laughs> Sister you call me JC. JC? JC, yeah. Okay, cool. And your name? Steve. Steve, nice to meet you, Steve. Nice to meet you. Cool. Hi, I'm JC. Hi, I'm JC. I'm John. John? Yeah, nice, nice to meet you, John. Do you learn to do that while traveling? Because you have to if you want to talk to anyone while you're traveling. I mean, just sitting in a common room in a hostel. You have to give your whole life story to six different people at one time. Now I'm like, I can talk to anyone. I can tell them all about myself. We can talk about philosophy. We can talk about religion. We can talk about whatever. Because uh, I don't have that insecurity anymore. I'm not worried about what people think when I talk to them. Because if they don't like me, then I don't have to talk to them anymore. What? I know, it's crazy. So those are six things that I learned while traveling that I didn't expect to learn, that I did not think I would get better at. I mean, I knew I would learn more about myself and places and cultures, but these are six things that I just didn't expect to, to know. Nobody told me I would learn them and I didn't think I would. So if you're thinking about budget traveling or just traveling in general, if you want to go backpacking, I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Um, just be prepared to become better at things that you weren't that good at before. If you thought this video was interesting, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more about me and my channel and my travels, consider subscribing. We have a lot more adventures coming to you because in January, I'll be leaving to Rome and traveling Italy and then Greece and then who knows where else. So I hope you guys join me on that adventure and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.